I'm George Provormo, and I'm honored to introduce the brand new Mako 414 Center Console, the largest, most powerful boat in Mako history. For 50 years, Mako has had a solid reputation of building boats stronger than they have to be, and modern Mako's build upon that legacy while updating each boat with cutting edge construction techniques, leading technology, and features that will please both the hardcore angler and the ocean loving family. Mako is currently celebrating its 50th anniversary. The first boat, a 19-foot fiberglass inshore-offshore boat, was introduced at the Miami Boat Show back in 1967. Many boat manufacturers have come and gone since that time, but Mako has endured because the boats are built to last, built to fish, and built for families. The 414 isn't just bigger than any other Mako in its history. It's a step forward in technology, creature comforts, and performance that keeps Mako at the forefront of saltwater recreation and fishing. And for your peace of mind, and like every Mako boat, it's backed by Mako Assurance, the finest warranty in the industry. The 414 is built with comprehensive input from myself and other hardcore offshore anglers, and most of us have families too. It will be available in three editions, standard, blue water family, and sport fish and each is customizable to your specific wants and needs. Once you see everything this boat offers, I think you'll understand why this is not just the biggest Mako, but the best and most capable boat in Mako's long history. At 41 feet, with a maximum 1,675 horsepower, the 414 is an offshore monster with considerable range and the power to handle any offshore fishing conditions. Mako's legendary aggressive deep V hull with its exclusive notch transom and pronounced reverse chines, crush waves, and provide an incredibly smooth and dry ride. Whether you are kite fishing for sailfish in the Keys, crossing the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas to hunt for marlin, or headed off to the canyons off the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast for tuna. Today, we're looking at the Blue Water Family Edition of the 414, and in addition to premium comfort features, it's also equipped for serious fishing adventures. From dual 50-gallon bait wells, massive in-deck fish boxes, and numerous rod holders, you'll find convenient fishing components integrated with comfortable family amenities throughout the entire boat. Let's head back to the marina and I'll walk you through all the interior fishing and comfort features of this magnificent new Mako boat. The whole design on the 414 center console features hand-laid woven fiberglass fabric, especially thick at crucial points like the keel and the chines. The bow features a 24 degree dead rise with wide flat strakes and aggressive reverse chines. Below the water line on a new 414 center console, the hull is protected by Mako's exclusive vinyl luster barrier coat, which protects the hull from osmotic blistering when it's docked at a slip in a marina or behind your home for prolonged periods of time. The hull of the 414 center console is available in seven optional colors with the ability to match the color of your hull with the bottom of the T-top. The pipe work comes in gray or white. As far as the performance, this particular 414 center console is outfitted with quad 350 horsepower Mercury Verados. That's 1400 horsepower. Yet the hull can hold an amazing 1,675 horsepower worth of outboards. Joystick piloting for Mercury is also optional. A big part of the performance of the 414 Center console lies with its 24-inch transom setback, which allows undisturbed water to reach the props. This results in quicker hole shots, increased top end speeds, and overall superb performance in all kinds of sea conditions. Recessed electric trim tabs are standard, and there's also the option of having them auto-adjustable. The hole has high-speed water pickups, which feed the live wells, the sea chest, and the raw water washdowns. For attracting bait fish and game fish in low light conditions and even at night, or just for looking cool, the boat has underwater LED lighting. Then there's the optional triple axle trailer. The well system on a new 414 center console is a live baiter's dream. To begin with, we have twin 50 gallon live wells that have rounded edges and a raw water pickup to ensure that you get a constant turnover of water from the bottom up. That means you have a constant water temperature and oxygen flow throughout both entire wells. Furthermore, the wells are pressurized, which means once you lock down the lid, the water can be adjusted to fill right to the very top. Once you're at your spot, simply open up the live well, dip out whatever baits you want, and send them out to catch the game fish. And that's not all. Between the two live well stations, you have 
a box that is ideal for brining or keeping ice down natural baits, the likes of ballyhoo, mullet, Spanish sardines, or pilchards. And on top, if you want to rig the ballyhoo for trolling, you have a rigging base. What's great about having both the live baits here and as well as having some natural baits is if you see a dolphin under a weed line or under a bird, you could quickly grab a rod, take either a live bait or a natural bait, and pitch bait to the fish and catch it. It's that efficiency which makes you a solid angler. And to tie all this in together, you have six rod holders right on the transom cap, and each one can be rigged with a certain style of hook to enable you to quickly grab a natural bait, send it out, or a live bait. And the beauty of having two different live wells is that you could have different types of live baits in each one. For example, one could have live value, which are very sensitive and not really hardy fish, while the other one could be loaded up with herring or live pilchards. While we're here, I'm standing right atop the bilge hatch. You open that up and it leads you into an expansive bilge. And down here, you're gonna find the sea chest, which feeds the live wells. Just in front of that, you're gonna find the diesel generator. And in front of that, in this particular boat, and out of sight, you're gonna find the Seakeeper Stabilizing Gyro. This is a new item that's making headway in the marine industry. And what this does, no matter what the sea conditions are out there, it stabilizes the boat. The Mako 414 Center Console is a big boat. Therefore, you could take a lot of people fishing out here and keep them in comfort. For example, this particular boat right here, the transom area alone has five pull-out cushion seats. In all, in the entire boat, you have cushion seating for 12 individuals. Look down at the Diamond non-skid. This ensures safe and secure footage throughout the entire center console. As far as storage, you have some smaller storage areas in the back. Move up in front of these seats here, you have large potato bin-like storage centers right there. Go out to the canyons and catch big tunas, or you run to the Bahamas, catch large dolphin, and you need some place to keep them, you have more space, in this particular boat between the port and starboard, 511 quart insulated fish boxes. And both boxes are controlled by a gulper macerator system. This means you can discharge the warmer water and just keep that just perfectly iced down or the fish on a very slushy brine. Two super large live wells to accommodate the duties. And when it comes time to boat that large tuna, swordfish or dolphin, walk right over here to the tuna door, which opens up to make that job a lot easier. Or if you're a diver and you want to swim, divers will call that the diving door. The leaning post on a new 414 center console is totally immense. Look at the vast amount of storage space that you have here. Within any one of these compartments, you could store small tackle boxes filled up with hooks, terminal gear, bucktails, leader material, you name it, and this leaning post can accommodate it because the storage works its way around the sides of it. This is the Blue Water Family Edition. Therefore, you have an electric stovetop with pot holders. In addition, you have a sink with fresh, hot, and cold water and a lid that turns over and serves as a cutting tray. On the starboard side of the console, you have a refrigerator. The difference with the Blue Water Family Edition versus the Sportfish Edition is that in the Sportfish Edition, you will lose the electric stove, but you will gain a third live well. On the front side of the leaning post, you have three in a row bucket seating with armrest with adjustable seating. Where the adjustable seating comes into play, whether you're simply cruising or navigating through rough seas, you could fine tune the comfort level of your ride to make sure that you remain efficient when you're behind the wheel of the 414 center console. There's a drop down foot rest and you're on an elevated part of the console, which basically means that you step away from the console. The highly visible 414 logo will let you know that you're stepping up and also coming down. The helm of the new Mako 414 center console is nothing short of impressive. Take a look at this. Standard, it comes with twin 17 inch Garmin screens, which are fish finders as well as mapping and navigation systems. You have a Mercury vessel view, tells you all that's going on with your outboards and everything related to this boat. Then you have touch activation of virtually every option and component here on the boat, right here at your fingertips. We have a full-blown fusion stereo system. Then to make navigation a breeze, whether you're crabbing sideways to and from a floating dock or just turning your boat 360 degrees, we have Mercury's joystick. The other option is Mercury's active trim. What this does, it senses the performance of the boat itself and the motors automatically start to trim up 
and then also trim back down to provide the boat with its most effective performing range. Look at the whole entire console here. There's even air conditioning, not only on the outside, but inside the console as well. Mako has what they call the shark tooth app that goes on your cell phone. And what that app does, it tells you all the components about your boat in terms of uh, battery, amps, the hours on your outboards, anything related to that Mako, you now have that information at your disposal on your cell phone. Take a look inside the Mako 414's center console. It's a step down center console with seven feet of headroom in here. It's immense. And look at some of the amenities that we have here. You have a freshwater sink with both cold and hot water that double duties as a shower head. Easy to get to, rigging, electronic boxes. You have your switch panels back here and electric. Then down below, there's more storage. Come down here and this opens up into a cushioned sleeper that can also double duty as storage. So when you look at the vast amount of space that you have in here, uh, you can virtually live in here if you want on those overnight trips to be very comfortable. Plus, in addition to the natural ventilation, there's air conditioning. When it comes to rod storage on the new Mako 414 Center Console, the possibilities are endless. Just take a look at what they offer the standard equipment. Under the gunnel rod storage, three rods can be racked per side. Then, say you have a hot day out in the canyons and your fish boxes are filled up and you need more room. No problem whatsoever. The 414 Center Console has two more boxes to the port side and the starboard side of its console. And these boxes could double duty as additional storage places for tackle boxes, boat washer care items, and the likes. And speaking of storage, you move forward into the bow area and you have two more large bins that even offer more storage. In front of the 414 Center Console is a very expansive seating arrangement that's available on the Blue Water Family Edition as well as the Sportfish Edition and very large storage hold underneath. Let's take a look at the bow of the 414 Mako Center Console, the Blue Water Family Edition. Take a look around and you have more luxury and amenities in terms of seating arrangements. You have raised seating on both sides with backrests that double duty when you open them up storage underneath. Then in the expansive in-deck hold, there's a filler piece that could connect both seating arrangements and that will double as a table, a raised table. When you look at all the amenities and storage throughout the entire boat, including the full 360 degree combing bolster, the 414 Center Console Blue Water Family Edition is one luxurious fishing machine. The 414 Center Console is a remarkably designed and top performing fishing boat. And don't forget, it's backed by Mako Assurance, which is a five plus life warranty that's the very best in the industry. Mako has always had a sterling reputation for building the most durable and highly efficient fishing boats. I've been a Mako owner since 1977, and I can tell you that each Mako I've owned has always had the durability and fishability designed into it to enable me to pursue my fishing adventures to the extreme and then some. So, whether you're a hardcore offshore pro, a Blue Water Family Angler, or somewhere in between, I know that after you see the new Mako 414 Center Console, it has everything that you'll need to make every day in the water legendary.